Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries for October 4th through the 7th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a 72 hour forecast for October 4th through the 7th. So we're going to get straight into it. This is a general message. Everything I say may or may not pertain to you. So definitely take everything as it may or may not. Okay, I don't want anybody to get confused. Hopefully you can find a reader who does resonate with you if this message isn't um, resonating. Okay. But if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, definitely make sure you check out my description box as well as my comment section. That is where you can find that information. And let's get straight into it. What's going on with my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October 4th through the 7th? What's the energy surrounding my Aries? Aries. Okay, overall energy, love, money message from spirit advice and the obstacle okay and let's clarify these aries for october 27 sun moon rising and venus aries sun moon rising and venus aries for october 4th okay so overall energy love money message from spirit advice and obstacle So let's go ahead and get straight into the message here. I'm going to move the cards over. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about, Aries, is the overall energy for you. We have the community card and we have the four of pentacles, okay? So with the community card, we have the seven at the top. So when I get the seven energy, I think about partnerships, okay? Um, seven, I'm thinking of the seventh house. So seventh house would be that Libra energy that will also be partnerships. And with this, for some of you guys, you could feel like there's a third party situation going on in your love life. For some of you, that's not the case, okay? For others of you, it's more of you spending more time with like friends around you or for some of you, even craving to have more friendships around you. You may have been a person who's been very much... Um, secluded or separated from people for some time and you could be wanting to build more bonds with people this could even be especially if you are in areas who is creative wanting to build a collective where you have similar people who are creative like you to where you can um build with them especially with the four of pentacles again this is that closed off energy some of you guys you've been closed off to going out to events or being kind of closed off to uh really being around other people for some of you if you're a woman this could even be having free like female friends you could have been closed off to that experience but i'm definitely seeing for some of you if it is in a love sense where you feel like there's a third party situation you could be closing off because of that for others of you this is more of you wanting to open up more especially if you have been kind of closed off uh to again building relationships with people around you for some of you as well, if you are somebody who's an entrepreneur, this could be even trying to work on building your community, um, community of clients or building your community. If you are somebody who's like who works on social media or anything of that sort or just um, wanting to, again, have more one to one connections with people for some reason here. OK. Um, also for some of you, you could be invited to an event and you could be like kind of closed off to that idea as well. But beyond that, looking at love, we do have healer of the ages and we do have the knight of cups. So I am seeing that there is some healing energy taking place within your love life for the next couple of days. For some of you, this could be you working on healing the trauma that may have been um, pre-existing in your relationship. There has been like a lot of issues in the past or problems that may have came up or even bickering or fighting. There could just be better energy coming in. For others of you, 
I'm getting a sense of you even healing from a love situation you may have been stuck on for some time and you may have been, you know, having a difficult time moving forward from that. Um, and with the Knight of Cups, for some of you, again, like I said, there could be a very healing relationship that's coming in. Somebody could be trying to pursue you. Or if you're already in a relationship, this person could be really expressing their feelings to you for the next couple of days, sending you little cute text messages or calling you or whatnot, saying little cute things here. Or again, like I said, you're having somebody who's pursuing you. Or for others of you, this is, um, like I said, healing from a relationship or a connection where somebody may have been a little immature and a little flaky emotionally as well. Now, let's talk about money. We do have the Happy Family card and the Seven of Cups, okay? So for some of you, for money, you could be having to take care of responsibilities at your home. Like if you are a mother, you may be having to... Um, take care of some like family bills or there may be like some family vacation that may come up that may be taking some money here for some of you you could be finding out you're pregnant and that may be taking a toll on your finances or you feel like it may be for others of you you could be in a content place emotionally with money like you may not be struggling for some of you you're not struggling for money it's like you're in a comfortable place like your savings account is is pretty nice for some of you or at least it's it's good enough for you to feel comfortable or you could um, spend on emotional comforts, but with the seven of cups, you may be a little confused about, you know, which direction to go in when it comes to manifesting more money for yourself. You may have so many ideas that you want to embark on or that you're emotionally connected to, but you're not sure which one will be best for you. For some of you as well, this may even be, um, for some of you like spending too much money on like, you know, alcohol or you know substances that aren't you know pretty good for you but definitely I'm seeing a level of confusion on how to pick which direction to go in as far as opportunities and money okay but for a lot of you you're not going to be struggling for money I'm definitely seeing that you're going to be um, in a place where you can spend money on emotional comforts or um, at least being content with where you're at now, what I am seeing for the message from Spirit, I do have the Seventh Chakra and the Queen of Swords. So the Seventh Chakra would be the Crown Chakra. This is making sure that you guys are not blocked or overstimulated in the Crown Chakra, meaning your thoughts. Where are your thoughts at? Are you thinking negatively? Is your mind overactive? Um, are you putting your thoughts in the wrong place? Um, where are you letting your mind dwell on things like this could be dwelling on things from the past that don't matter at this point or even dwelling on things in the present that don't matter but definitely making sure as well that your crown chakra is not blocked as well to where you're not um putting things into perspective okay and then with the queen of swords again this is again kind of connected to the um the seven chakra card to me at this moment because of the fact that the queen of swords is about discernment the queen of swords is all about uh, using your mind and being rational and using thought and again using that discernment to cut through the BS so for a lot of you spirit wants you to do so all right and this could even be about a person this could be a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius in your life where you need to use discernment about this person um, but beyond that, what I am seeing for the advice here, we do have Blossoming Abundance and we do have the Queen of Wands. So with this, this is making sure with the three, for some of you, you're somebody who I'm, I'm envisioning like the three of pentacles. So for some of you, you're working on multiple projects right now. For others of you, it's like you have multiple places where you put your money at or money's coming in in multiple places. And Spirit is saying, make sure that you're keeping Keeping that same energy, making sure that you guys are continuously standing in your power, being confident when it comes to your abilities, what you have to offer, um, especially if you know that you're the bomb at whatever you do um, in your field, make sure that you're continuously believing that because there may be moments where you don't really believe that you're somebody who's, you know, the shit, but you are and spirit's saying you need to understand that and also understand that money is coming in for you. If you are somebody who has been thinking about Where's the bag? Where's the bag? <laughs> okay, <laughs> where's my money? Understand money is on its way to you. You need to continuously, though, like I said, stand in your power. Also, continuously keep working hard if you want to see results, okay? 
Now, what I am seeing for the obstacle that may come up this week, I do have the first chakra, and we also have the hermit. So for some of you guys, this could be your sacral chakra. For some of you guys, it could be overstimulated or blocked, okay? This could be like, okay, you have a lot of creative energy, but you don't know where to put it at. For others of you, this sexual energy, let's keep it real, okay? Um, for others of you, like I said, this is like, it being blocked, it could be opposite where you don't have that much creative energy or you could be, you know, in a fog or not in a fog, but really not having that mojo to get things going or just not really into um, or not knowing how to express your sexual energy. But with the Hermit card, for a lot of you, the issue may be like you really needing to go within about certain things that you want to do um, for the long run about... What's next for you on your spiritual journey? This is beyond anything physical. This is like, what what do you want for yourself when it comes to your spiritual journey? How far are you willing to take it, honey, for some of you? And for others of you, it's like facing certain things that you really um, haven't really taken the time to consider, okay? Now, let's talk about your love life. What we have for your love life, we have forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? And it says, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So with these two cards showing up, I'm getting a huge sense that for, like, for one, I'm getting a couple of messages. I'm getting that for some of you, you may be having some very healing conversations with your partner uh, these next couple of days um, with the healer of the ages showing up in your, your love area. I am getting a sense that, again, there's going to be some healing energy taking place, whether this is a past person that you're forgiving or they want forgiveness, um, or you may even be learning from a past situation that has been destroying you from moving forward after having a conversation with this person after so so many like months or however long. For others of you, like I said, um, this is you finally letting go of the past and expressing how you feel to your person here or you guys needing to express to your person like, look, I've gone through this in the past and I'm willing to work beyond that and see where this connection can go. So I'm definitely seeing a couple of things with this, all right? But beyond that, the advice I can give you, we have um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. And then we also have friendship and it says nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So with this, this is, again, accepting things that have happened in the past. Yes, it's it's messed up. Okay, the things that you may have went through weren't completely, uh, really weren't, you know, the best of experiences. But understanding that that gave you the wisdom to discern from what is a real love and what's fake. What is something that can grow and prosper and what's just potential. And there's a need for you to accept those experiences for what they are and move forward, especially with this card showing up with it. And also understand as well with the present, within the relationship you may be in now, yes, you guys may have had a rough past or there may have been rough patches within the relationship, but now there's a a need for you guys to move forward here. And also, if you're in a relationship right now, work on the relationship beyond the sexual uh, connection. Work on the, the bond you guys have there. So that's going to be it, Aries. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I was able to give somebody out there some sort of guidance or clarity. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And if you do want a personal reading with me, that information will be listed below in the description box and in the comment section, as well as my pick a card channel. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.